Hello there, old friend. It's been a while, hasn't it? Man, I can't wait for us to torch some fools. In case you haven't guessed by now, I really like Cert a lot. Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Previously, we took care of the latest guardian in Tartarus, and the last one in the labyrinth, the mythical Gygas, in a very weird fight. That was the weirdest battle I ever had with that shadow, admittedly so. We also got some request stuff done, and some more Persona, Fus Persona Fusions taken care of. You know, the usual after guardian battle stuff. Today, we're gonna leave the dark hour and return back to our normal lives to do some more social business as the full moon is only a mere four days away. So hopefully I can get through that social stuff as soon as possible because I want to get through that last full moon operation as fast as we can. And it happens to be Halloween today, which in Japan doesn't mean that much. It's just another all regular day for the people of Tetsubi Port Island, unfortunately. The moon will be full soon. We're almost done. Let's give it everything we've got. Of course, Yukari. We've come this far. We're not gonna stop now. After this is all over, let's celebrate. That doesn't sound too shabby. But first, we gotta get through the full moon operation first. Then we can celebrate afterwards. Speaking of, celebrate of celebrating, it's such a shame that in Japan, Halloween is just another regular day for the people of this country. That's kind of sad. I'm not sure how I can live with myself if I ever had that knowledge in mind and have to live that kind of life. Halloween is the start of one of my favorite times of the year, so I would not be able to function very well if I was put in this situation. And what was I just thinking? I was wondering what will become of me once we have defeated all the shadows. That is true, actually. I hope I can continue to attend school. I think people will be okay with that, I guess. I mean, you do look kind of weird with your headphones, but hey, I wear headphones. I wear headphones too. I'm not one to judge. So I'm pretty sure nobody would would miss you if you did somehow leave school. Actually, I think people will be will miss you. <laughs> what do I want to do today? Since I can't celebrate Halloween, I'll have to do something else to fill the void. Uh, let's go hang out with Yuko, since it is Saturday, and I'm pretty sure I still have Valkyrie in my arsenal. Uh, but first things first, I wonder if Hitatoshi is downstairs. Since we have completed the Ever Social Link, I'm positive that he will be available to talk, available to, talk to. Ah, uh, he's not here, I, I had a feeling he wouldn't be here. Last time I was hanging out at the strip mall, I saw a dude with some wild fashion sets. Long wavy hair, no shirt, and tattoo all up and down his arms. I know it's heating up outside, but he kinda went overboard. But hey, maybe it's cool to let your freak flag fly. If I was more like Kim, give it a rip what people think, I would have a care of the world. Uh, we all know who's, who he's talking about. And to Kaya, one day he won't get his for what he did to Shinji. There's no way that action cannot go unpunished. And for some reason, I'm not finding Hitatoshi near his usual spot when he's not student council. Even Suru is over there, standing around, so I thought Hitatoshi would be there too. Maybe Saturday is a student council day and I forgot about it, or probably... Hitatoshi and Soma's not available on Saturdays, so I guess we'll wait for another time to speak with him Because I was anxious to see what he had to say now that we're done with his link But in the meantime, we will hang out with Yuko to accumulate more points with her since today will just be a regular hangout session with Yuko So we're gonna do just that to fill the time since once again, I can't spend Halloween the way I usually like to do Seriously, how do these people live with themselves knowing that they have to spend Halloween just by living it as another day? I mean, come on. It's not cool that they don't have any decorations up, no one's in costumes, no one's trying to cosplay or get into character whatsoever. It's not a good life to live, I have to say. But I have opinions why, like I already stated. We have three days left. You can go to Tartarus whenever you're ready. 
Too bad, Akihiko, we've accomplished all we can do in Tartarus, so there will be no more need of that for us to train. But I am very happy to see that you're still having that go-getter out to attitude about taking on the shadows. Now, what's this about, uh, Strega? Let me see if I go through that dialogue again. I don't think Strega will simply allow us to defeat the last shadow. They will either try to stop us outright or secretly set a trap for us. What do you think they will do, uh, Yuki? Well, I'm not sure. If they were smart, they would set a trap for us, but we still have possession of Chidori, so they would be able to pull that off again. So maybe they might try to stop us. Yes, I agree. They will most likely try to stop us outright. Even if they were able to set a trap, Yamagishi will be able to detect it. Well, that too. Like the Tsuru said, we'll be facing Strega in our next battle. Well, I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm gonna give them hell in return for what they did to Shinji. You, me, and everyone else, Akihiko, they will pay for what they did. Mostly to Kaya. I've been so busy lately that I haven't been able to see Chidori. Well, we're almost done. After we kill that last shadow, I'm gonna go straight to the hospital. That sounds like something someone that's masochistic would say, to be honest, because that can be taken out of uh, context, that line is. Uh, or that line was. Uh, I cannot understand the nervousness you are all feeling, uh, but I know that everyone will give their all in this battle, and so will I. This will be the last time we fight, so we must do our very best. Uh, Fuka, what do you have to say about this? The atmosphere is so tense, but we should all try to relax. We'll need to remain calm if we want to win the last battle. I'm sure I'll be fine, Fuka. As a matter of fact, I want to check where everyone's levels stand right now, because we haven't done this in a long time. Once a number of people will not feel good, that's not the thing I want to know. Level 45 for Yukari, 46 for Aegis, and for Mitsuru, and for Junpei. Akihiko's at level 42, that's really weird. Level 46 for Ken, and 45 for Ko. Wow, out of everyone here, Akihiko's the only one that is the least level. That's kind of surprising to me. And since Fuka did awaken to Judo, I don't think she was able to learn new skills despite that resolution, so regardless of what happens to Fuka's persona in this story, she still learns the same amount of skills, whether she had Lucia or Judo, which is really strange. But I guess if she did, if she were able to learn more support skills, she would be kind of overpowered. And by extension, we would be a little overpowered too. So, what I want to do is Go walk Coral tonight, because Ken can tag along with us, so we'll do just that. Again, since we can't spend Halloween doing any sort of trick-or-treating whatsoever, this is the next best thing. I did it! I didn't lose today! Yikes, it's hot. It's probably because you're wearing a jacket and a hoodie at the same time, Ken. You would get really warm at that. We're almost at the final battle. We can do it! Yes, we can, Ken. I guess a little conversation of encouragement took place between the two of us. Ah, he's back. Let's do our best, too. I'm sure Cole will be doing his best in that battle as well. What we do today is sleeping like always. Even though our condition will not matter when the full moon does come around, we are not going to be able to get anything out of studying, so why bother? And it's already November 1st. Uh, my god, I can't believe we're already this far. We're finally this far to the game. It still bewilders me that we're actually at the start of November now, in the fall season, no less. Because it doesn't feel like that. I honestly feel like we're still in the middle or the late part of summer. But now since it's Sunday, like always, we'll check the TV to see what Tanaka has to offer. And for this week, Tanaka has another Berserker Seal. I might give that to Akihiko or Junpei. That sounds pretty good to have. 
And we can get two make a protein. I think we'll, I will buy this set. Since I think I still have the Berserker Steel I got from Shinji's uh, Ensemble. I think I'll give those to Akihiko and Junpei. Or maybe I could give one of those to Aegis just since she is more physical based than those two. But this does remind me since I have a abundance of cash on hand, I can finally go to the police station and go buy some more equipment. I think it's high time we do get some upgrades to our equipment since we haven't been there in a while. First I'm going to save before I do anything else just in case I make some mistakes. Hi Yukari. See you're back in that very pretty pink sweater you have. I like that sweater a lot. Full moon soon. I'm getting so nervous. I need to stop thinking about it, just relax. Yeah, there will be... It wouldn't be as much help if you were very nervous going into this last operation. I not understand the nervousness. I guess saying the same thing. I wonder what Ken has to say. He's all the way over here. Straka might, might be planning something. But I don't care. I'm going to avenge Shijiro-san. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I still got Shijiro's passing on my mind. Despite it has been a couple weeks in game time. If they do show up to try and stop us, then we will take down Strega for Shinji. They do deserve it. Since there's not much else we can do here, I think we will go outside, and I will make a stop at Polonium Mall, like I said, to see if we can buy any new equipment for us. Not that we're pretty bad with our current equip set. Like I said, it has been a while since we visited the police station, and since we have a lot of cash on hand, why not try to spend some? Speaking of which, Junpei's actually here. I just took me a few seconds to notice him. The next shadow's the last one, right? Man, this one's gonna be a killer. We better bring the ultimate equipment for it. You're reading my mind, Junpei. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And here's how much the red armor plate costs. Not as much as some of the other red shadow eyes we have turned in in the past. Only 5 yen. Oh yeah. I did come across this somehow, the Shadow Crystal. I may have caught this item on screen actually, I didn't recognize it before. Maybe I got it from one of the battles in Tartarus, I'm not sure. But look at how much yen they cost. 100,000 each, 200,000 in total. I was looking around the mall just for the heck of it, and I found Akihiko's here too. I'm in great condition. All I need is some equipment to match, and I can't lose. That's all he has to say, huh? I guess he and Jupy are here for the same reasons. Maybe they're here together, for all I know. Those youngsters who look all down in the mouth should try hard to make some friends. What's that nut thing they've got nowadays? They probably don't even know how to talk to real people. Uh, trust me, mister. These, these gray, pale-skinned kids over here? Yeah, they're sick for another reason. I only wish you would know. But speaking of sick people, bought to Nakanaki Shrine since it is Sunday and meet up with Akinari. I wonder what kind of conversation we'll have with him for today. It's gonna be very depressing, I'll say that much. But he's also quite well-spoken at the same time too. This bench is too big for me alone. I can see that. So I'll love to fill this spot, and we should have another conversation. And this bench shall be our meeting place. See what I mean with that? when I say this guy is very elegant in his, in his vocabulary? You really wouldn't think that considering his condition. I'm doing better today. I know it probably looked pretty bad last time, right? Yeah, you were coughing a lot. I had been reading a book before we met that day. I got so absorbed in the reading that I forgot to close the window, and I didn't realize how chilly it was. Do you read many books? Oh man, I wish I could say that I don't read that much, but that's not an option, unfortunately. So, as much as I don't want to do this, we'll have to lie to its face and say that we do like reading. I see. That's something we have in, we have in common, then. 
I honestly would have picked number three if I was in this spot. It really does depend on the book for me. I read a lot of books these days. I find that they're the easiest ways to spend my time. Since I could get lost in a book's private world. Do you read books all the way to the end? If it's boring, I stop reading. Well, of course I do. I would say of course I do because I never like to leave things unfinished. But number two does... Does, uh... Ring true to me as well. I don't read the endings either, though I think our races for doing so are different. I really get into the story, I usually read the end quickly, but... I never want to finish it. Because if I finish the story, I'll be stuck here, again. Alone in my room. As Akinari, the person who can't escape his fate. Stories about hope or heroism. Those are the kind of books I read. So hopefully, if I do decide to finish reading them, I'll feel happy at the end when I come back here. Uh, you deserve to be happy, Akinari. Especially someone your age shouldn't be in the position that you're in. So I guess true to his uh, intelligent nature, I suppose, we learn that Akinari is quite the bookworm, which is completely the opposite of what I do in real life because I don't read that much and I haven't really done that, I haven't put that much of an effort to improve since I did bring this up before. That's something I do have to fix someday though. Time is ruthless. It looks like the sun is already setting. I hope we have another chance to talk. I have a feeling we will, Akinari. I would like to see you again. Now it, it's the evening. Welcome back. I see that Chermity Kuski's here. The day after tomorrow is the day. Uh-huh. It's been a long journey, but we're finally here. We're the only ones who can defeat it, so don't let your guard down until the very end. I will not, Mitsuru. Well, what would everyone like for their last meal? Ugh, I'm being ignored. Well, I guess we're too focused to enjoy my jokes. Well, given the circumstances of Kutsuki, there is a reason why that everyone's so focused on what's gonna happen. ikutsuki san seems to joke around a lot. But I am unable to understand his humor. My mind is already filled with thoughts. Of the last shadow, the dark hour, and the lost. And it's a lot to think about, I guess. But hopefully we can find the, the answer to all of those things once we do go through this full moon operation. We're seeing the same thing. So please, you haven't been able to see Chidori. And it's like Jupiter's doing the same thing. I don't think I'll speak to anyone else for tonight then. So what do I, what do I want to do since it's Sunday? Uh, I think we'll hang out with Koro again. Well, actually, Aki's here, so I want to see what he has to say. I could sure say we'll be facing Striga in our next battle. Well, I'm actually looking forward to it. Oh, he's saying the same thing again. I thought he was saying something different. <laughs> I thought because these guys were in their different clothes, aside from I guess, who apparently doesn't change, but I guess for good reason. I thought he would have something different to say. Show the TV, actually. On the next episode of, of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 37, Here Comes the Emperor. Who could possibly eat more than Owl and love more than Condor? And now the news. But it shows the shopping mall is filled with... People, that is the loss. I'm pretty sure I know where that's going. So we'll hang out with Coral again, because tonight we can go walk with Yukari. And I am not gonna pass up a chance to do that, no sir. I've already expressed how much I like Yukari, so there would be no way I would pass up this opportunity. Whew, I'm beat. You're too fast for me, Coral chan I bet you're having fun though. Alright, knock yourself out. 
I'm pretty sure he will. After all, this was his first home. I wonder if Coral Chan's as psyched up as I am. Just two days left. I'm getting more anxious about it. Everything will work out, I'm sure. I spoke with Yukari for a while. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> you look pretty pleased with yourself, Coral Chan. Why don't we start heading back? Yeah, it's getting rather late. So, I think this would have been around the point where I would finish the episode, but I want to get all the social link stuff out of the way as fast as possible, so this might end up being a longer episode than I want it to be. Not that that hasn't stopped me plenty of times before. I mean, I've seen the lengths of how these episodes turn out when I finish anything though, but sometimes I feel kind of, uh, I feel kind of bad because that means this could be a lot of, a lot more, uh, a lot more time for you guys to have to watch this stuff. So I kind of feel bad for you because I do my best to try to short these as much as I can, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Maybe my standards might be a little too high about that. It's probably it. Yeah, the day after tomorrow is gonna be, or should I say, tomorrow is gonna be the full moon. I'm positive a shadow will, be, will appear tomorrow. Straka, maybe onto something as well. Anyways, please be prepared. I think we will be prepared. I spent a lot of yen yesterday getting some very expensive equipment, but it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so since it is Monday today, I highly doubt Hitotoshi will be downstairs again, so I think we'll hang out with Yukari some more. Since we haven't got enough points to rank up at her social link to my recollection. So we'll accept this offer and go hang out with Yukatan. I'm pretty sure she doesn't like that nickname at all, but it does kind of roll off the tongue sometimes. Spend some time with Yukari, the bond between you seems to be growing. And we can rake up the next time we do see her at school. That's nice. And with that, the final evening before the full moon has come. Well, tomorrow will be our last operation. Yeah. We've been through a lot this last six months. Don't you think? Yeah, huh? Well, it was a lot better than doing nothing, right? Besides, we made some new friends. Yeah, I guess. Well, it's all been worth it if you ask me. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. You don't hear me complaining. Sonata san. <laughs> Two and a half years is a long time. Oh, wait. For I guess it's been even longer, huh? I was asleep for much of the time, so I have not been in operation for very long. How about you, Mitsuru Senpai? You started before Akihiko's son, right? Me? Yes, it was just me at first. Of course, back then, seas didn't exist, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you? No. I've been aware of the dark hour since I was a child. One time, my father's research team was attacked by shadows. That's when I awakened to my persona, when I witnessed the incident. That's what happened? It seems I was the first. If that had never happened, perhaps none of you would have to bear this terrible burden. Senpai. 
It would have happened to someone eventually. Besides, the enemy can't just be ignored. I suppose that's true. So it looks like we got some more background for Mitsuru and Akihiko. They've been aware of the Dark Hour for longer than us. And with this meeting before the last full moon operation, the Sea Social League has reached level 6. The power to create Persona of the Floor Kana has grown. But it seems that everyone's resolve is as strong as ever as the last full moon is upon us. It seems that everyone else can see the same thing before we do head into battle. I almost forgot, tomorrow's culture day. I'll probably just stay home and rest though. Got the last operation coming up soon. So tomorrow's gonna be a holiday for us then. Thank you for all you've done for us. Let's do our best in the last battle. We shall, Mitsuru. And more importantly, we will be victorious. Same thing for Makihiko. It's gonna take on Striga if they do show up for Shinji. This is it. I'm gonna fight for my mom and Shinji Rosan. As well as Ken's gonna be fighting for Shinji as well as his mother. Pacific Shadows disappear, right? We hope so. Along the Dark Hour, Tartarus, and everything else. But what my dad did... What he did, well, it wasn't entirely his fault. It's not like he was the one that wanted to do this on purpose, Yukari. But we will write his mis... Uh, well, not his mistake, his research team's mistake. Uh. Well, we do go through the last full moon operation. And that's gonna be it for today. We got the last bit of social league business in right before the full moon operation. So next time, we'll be taking on this last operation. And hopefully, we can vanquish the dark hour and the shadows. And if Strega happens to come into our path, then we'll take them down too. Until we meet again, farewell for now.